play tennis with your wife, but every year I end up playing tennis with my wife. Yeah, maybe we ought to switch partners. <laughs> no wife swapping on the courts. You know the rules. Well, then, Bill and I gotta go. Uh, Duncan's got some business papers he wants to go over with us. That is, of course, if you can still recognize us. Oh, when you're Duncan's age and you've been through as much as he's been through, you're gonna drink too, Bill. I'm sorry, Robin. It was a bad joke. Yeah, it certainly was. And anyway, I thought you could leave business at home. It's all right, Kim. I expected it. Anyway, I have ordered us a limousine to take a shopping. A limousine? It's really rough well. for your corporation wife, isn't it? <laughs> bye bye. I'll uh, get back on a kiss for you, darling. <laughs> a limousine. <laughs> just how rough it is. Oh, come on, Bob. Don't they give us everything money can buy? Including dinners for one and lonely nights. Oh, well, at least we're all members of the same club. That's the way it is when you're married to a guy who's married to a corporation. There's always company available, though. Oh, no. I'm not giving up on Bill yet. Besides, he's thinking of retiring in five years. Well, don't count on it, dear. Ladies. Lucille's boutique driver. Yes, ma'am. Hitchhiker, any objection? Hitchhiker? Are you out of your mind? This isn't the way to town. What are you doing? Hey, what is this? Shut up. Stop this car! I said stop this car! Shut up. We bought that, right, Paul? And if he put a hard line approach on this thing, he'd blow the whole blow thing. Long. Right? Right. <laughs> but we didn't, which only goes to prove that when you've got what they want, the hard line approach will deliver every time. You can <laughs> say that again. <laughs> well, let's say it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, how about a, a toast to your senior partner? A toast to our, our senior, senior partner. partner. 
telephone call for Mr. Wood. Mr. Duncan Wood, please. Isn't that for you? Mm -hmm. Don't let that get away. Duncan Wood, did you have a call for me? He is fantastic. You know, that's the old line school. Hey, Duncan. Have you seen that expression on your face since you both were sinking in the slip at the marina? <laughs> Girls. You played tennis, didn't you? Yeah, we played tennis and then they went shopping. Why? You've been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Your instructions in a package at the front desk and my name. <laughs> Postmark yesterday. Open it. It's a cassette with a tape in it. The voice on the phone was recorded, too. We know what you're thinking. There's no proof we really have the ladies. Well, you'll get the proof by mail addressed to Mr. Maxville. But this was mailed. To... And we know what else you're thinking. Are they safe, and what about the FBI? I'll answer both at once. You're being watched in any attempt to contact authorities, and your ladies will get hurt bad. The ransom, three million dollars. One for the life of each wife. You have 36 hours. And he owns the boat. How do we know we can trust him? If you can't trust a mute, you can't trust anybody. Okay, everybody. 
everybody. Come on. Take it easy. Everybody up. Let's go. You too. Everybody up the ladder. Let's go. Come on. Quick, get going. Come on. Up, up, up. Move. Up. Come on. Come on. Oh. Okay, everybody over here. Follow him. lady will wait what what's going to happen to us your husbands have less than 36 hours when the ransom's paid we get word then you'll be free to go to the mainland if you behave does getting word mean that someone else will be dealing with the money uh. no oh no oh please you're smart lady don't get too smart you understand How is this Cheech brought in? Same as us, I guess. You know, come to think, I don't even know how you got in. Ah, oh, come on, cousin. No games. I was trying to get together in Vegas. Some guy knows I'm a job or gives me a call. 36-hour contract, 90000 to be split three ways. 30000 apiece, right? Right. He gives a half upfront down payment. Okay. What about the follow-up instructions? You got yours on those little tapes? Just like our husbands are getting right now. Only their instructions are in my voice, not his. Mm -hmm. You know, it don't seem right Cheech gets the same as us. We need the snatch. All he did was... You get him in? Good. Go on. Thank you. The answer's the same. Every place they would have gone, no show. You've got to call the police. But you heard the instructions. Frank McCloy. What? Frank McCloy is an old friend of mine. I haven't seen him for years, but I heard he's a detective here with the Santa Costa police. We can't talk to the police. We have to. I'm with Paul. Colin. You know, if whoever's watching us knows you two are police, our wives could be dead. 
Mr. Wood, I'm a cop. And I think a pretty good one. I'm also a friend of Paul's. So you can rest assured that Sergeant Russell and I have taken every precaution and will continue to. Uh, security is tapped into the hotel switchboard. Any call coming in this room will be traced, providing the calling party stays on the line. That kidnapper is not going to stay on the line long enough for you to trace the call. We've just got to hope they do, Mr. Sutton. <laughs> Thank God Kamala's travels with her insulin. That's my wife. She's a diabetic. Without the insulin in 30 hours, she'd go into a coma and die. It's like a vault. There's only one way in and one way out. Except for my claustrophobia. I'll go crazy in here. There's a bathroom outside just across the land. One of us could ask to use it. We could get out and go for help. If I could get to the power boat. Uh -uh, we're kidding ourselves. She's right, Kim. Well, if we're just going to stand around and wait for one of those guys to come in. I mean, we have to try something, you know. We... Kim. Kim, are you all right? What's the matter? Hey. Just a little bit. See? Hey, it's nothing. Kim. You do have your insulin with you, don't you? Oh, my God. Well, why didn't you say something? I thought you took it with you wherever you went. We were going to be gone a couple of hours. Give us something to eat. I think I can use this. But even if we do get out of here, I, I mean, how are you going to be able to? Let's just stop worrying about me and start thinking about what we're going to do when they come in that door. All right, Jim, thanks. Still no sign of the limousine or the chauffeur. For all we know, they could be in the bottom of the ocean by now. You know, Paul. The FBI is to be called into any kidnapping within 24 hours. They told us not to. Well, that's why, as a personal favor, I haven't done it yet. What about the ransom money? Well, we're going to pay, of course, but how do you raise three million by tomorrow? And arrange a commercial loan. Yes? I have a delivery for you. Thanks. Special delivery for you, Paul.
is this all about? But they said we won't be heard if the ransom's paid. Is that your wife? Paul, Barbara. We're all right, but these men mean business. We need your help, darling. It's Barbara. This is Robin, Duncan. It's a nightmare, and I'm afraid. We all are. Do what they say, please. It doesn't sound too steady. You'll be getting a phone call with further instructions. Man. You got a big kid. Yes. Money. When this is old, baby, you're going to be broke. I'm going to be rich. So what do you say we have?
this one. If any one of you tries this again, I'll kill you. Ransom or no ransom, I'm going to kill you. Now get him out of here. No. Wait. If I hadn't been going to make a call to their husbands, this whole thing could have blown sky high. I'm going to make that call now. Now get in there! The bank is sympathetic. They'd be willing to do anything within reason to accommodate us. Ransom money is a commercial loan. I can't believe they'd go through with it. They will if we put up the collateral. The company has almost enough assets to cover it. Commercial loan at uh, seven and a half percent, uh, subject to cancellation on date of return. Return. What's your point? Well, I'm just uh, trying to say it. If we pay, and we don't even know whether they're still alive, we could lose our wives and be financially wiped out at the same time. Robin's life was at stake, and you're talking about money? Well, ask him. Ask him. See if an expert thinks that I'm so wrong. Look, being a detective doesn't make me any kind of an expert in kidnapping. Look at it this way. Think of the criminal mind. All these hijackings, these ransoms, all this lunacy. Now, the worst thing in the world to do is to negotiate with them or, 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 or give them what they want. you got to take a hard line and tell them they're not going to get one penny. Huh. That way, they're, they're more apt to, to crumble under it and release the girls out of cold fear. The other way, if they collect the ransom. I don't think they'd risk releasing them. I don't agree with you, Duncan. Not at all. Frank? Look, Mr. Wood, the criminal mind just isn't always the same. Now, what you're saying is that by taking a hard line with these men could end up getting our wives killed. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Then, obviously, we have no choice. Isn't that right, Duncan? I'm not paying. Do you know what you're saying? Exactly. Not one million dollars, not a thousand, not one dollar. Look, Mr. Wood, if you... Why should I? Ever since year one, Robin's been chasing after every beach boy and tennis bum she can lay her hands on. And you know it. Who knows? Maybe one of you can give me first-hand information. I ought to work your head. Duncan, your brain is rotten with alcohol. Who cares? Who cares? No. I mean it. I've been trying to think of a way to get rid of her without being torn apart by a divorce settlement that'll have me selling pencils. Now, wait a minute, look. They've asked for three million. Now, I don't have any official right to say this, but if one of you doesn't pay his share, all your wives could die. Selling pencils, huh? Duncan, I promise you, I'll kill you. Easy, Mr. Sutter. I would too, Frank. Hmm. How about you, Lieutenant? Legally, I couldn't do anything. Well, I've committed the perfect murder.
Duncan Ward. Who's calling? I'll ask the questions. Are you one of the husbands? Yes. Good, you'll do. Now listen. He's coming through. Trace it. You've had time to start getting the ransom together. Now you should be deciding which of you will carry the money to the place of delivery. I will call you tomorrow night at 11 o'clock with instructions for where and how to deliver the money. I won't have time to be concerned with your problems when I call. So if you have any questions, ask them now. Yes, I've got a few questions I want to ask you about. If you... There are no questions. I'm not going to pay my part of the ransom. As far as I'm concerned... My wife can stay wherever she is until she rots. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. We lost him. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Hold it. Hold it. Just stay away from me, all of you. Just stay away. Sit down. Sit down. Trace the call. No, not a chance. What are we going to do? We're going to wait and hope to call back. sit here and rock. Now you all better figure out between you which one of you is the kind of wife that deserves ending up dead. I've got to talk. I've just got to talk. Then talk. Not here somewhere where we can talk alone, please. Okay, watch them, cousin. I am not hysterical. I'd like to know just what the hell's going on here. What? My deal did not include being roughed up by your idiot friend. Lady, I don't know what you've been smoking, but it sure must be pure. Don't play dumb with me, Boone. I'm talking about the deal. The deal? What do you? The kidnapping. My idea. I'm in on it with a man who hired you. Didn't he tell you I wasn't supposed to be hurt? Didn't he tell you that? Lady, if what you're saying is true, your friend sure ain't your friend. <laughs> Yeah. 
you're going to come up with the money. It has to be soon. No way. Not without Duncan. Corporations' assets can't be touched. Not that kind of money, without the agreement of all three of us. Well, I'm afraid there's not much we can do. Paul? How much can you raise yourself? Two, three hundred thousand at the most. Same here. What's the use? Up to what Duncan did. There's a chance it will. Get that phone call at 11 o'clock tonight. You've got to go under the assumption it will. Because you've got no other choice. It wasn't Bill either. It was Duncan. I didn't think our marriage would work. But Duncan seemed so sure. All these years it's been eating him up inside. I made it work for Doug. This time, Duncan. Not in my life. I'm leaving on the first plan this morning. You can have your attorneys decide how much it'll cost to buy you out. I'm not thinking about how much it's going to cost to buy us out. It's 
Joe. Cousin, when your life's on the line, nobody's that cool. And she was. What worries me is if Mr. Big double crosses his girlfriend. Hey. What about us? We're in too deep now, unless you just want to forget about the money and walk away. Nah, we're going to change our plans. What do you mean? I recorded the instructions for the drop. I know exactly where it is. And baby, there's at least two million there waiting. What are you saying? We split the money three ways? Nope. I'm saying we kill Cheech. chance this time. The thick ball. Yes, if they call. Listen carefully and write it down. I don't want any mistakes. My instructions are complicated and they must be followed to the letter. Only one of you delivers the money and any attempt to bring in the police will mean the immediate death of your wives. At exactly 4 a.m., the husband making the drop will proceed from the lodge down Santa Costa Boulevard to Christie Drive. Take a left-hand turn and proceed to 17. Paper on 17, block take a right and keep on 17th until you get to Bay Marina. At the marina... You will proceed to South Pier Boulevard and Lark Drive and wait. You will be watched every step of the way to the drop site. If anyone follows you, it's all over. If you want to see your wives again, do exactly as you've been told. This is McCloy. We traced the call to a phone booth. I'm standing in it now. There's nobody here, just one of those cassette recorders. We have no choice. We have to follow their instructions. So you've got to decide now which one of you is going to deliver the money. That shot you heard, Cheech was cleaning his gun. 
a man didn't know what hit him. Wish me luck, girls. I'm on my way. Could you bring us a doctor? We need a doctor. Or could you at least bring us back some insulin? She'll die. Ladies, I'm not coming back. I see your new boyfriend. I'll give me a best. You two didn't know your friend helped plan this. That's the way it is. She planned her own kidnapping. She planned it with her new boyfriend. Get her to tell you about it. right down to the plane tickets, passports, everything. Barbara, what do you say? Kim, believe me, I didn't think about your insulin. Barbara, why? Why? I was leaving Paul. I was leaving with $3 million. I was bored. Bored with Paul and the company. I hated it every time he touched me. It was awful just sleeping with him. And then I met someone. Someone who made me feel again. I saw him every chance I could get. And then we planned it. We'd be together. And I'd still have everything I had with Paul. I even pretended to hurt my ankle when we tried to escape because I thought we were going to make it.
uh, Mrs. Davidson. Please, Mrs. Davidson, you've been with us a long time. I know how close you are to Kim, but it is very important you don't show any feelings of panic to the children. Well, everything is being done, it can be done. Yes. Now, are you all right? And I want you to put the children in the line. And I'm going to tell them. Mrs. Davidson, please, put them both on the line. Hello, Karen? Bobby? Yes, this is Daddy. Uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry for getting up so late, but uh, I woke up and so I thought I'd call and find out how you were. Yes, it... Uh... Now, are you... Are you being good for Mrs. Davidson? Are you doing everything she tells you? That's fine. Yes, Karen. Yes, we're having a nice time. Uh, no, Bobby, uh... Mommy is not here just now. No. You see, Mommy has, uh... And... <clears throat> now, listen. I want you both to listen to me very carefully. Mrs. Maxville and Mrs. Wood, you know who they both are. Now, they and Mommy have... They and Mommy... are... Asleep. Mommy's asleep. And so I woke up and I thought I'd call you and tell you I miss you very much. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Now, I want you both to go back to bed and put Mrs. Davidson back on the phone. Yes, I love you both too. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give her a big kiss. Mrs. Davidson, now, I, now listen, I did not tell them. It's very important that they don't know anything is wrong. As soon as anything happens, then I'll call you and I'll... I'll let you know. I can't talk now. Chances, Frank, of getting them back alive. Well, statistics are instinct. Just what you honestly think. I think your chances are good, Paul. Where's Bill? Oh, he's in his room, owning his kids. I didn't think he should keep it from them any longer. What is it, Bill? She doesn't have her insulin with her. We better get going. I'll take it to her. instructions.
Before we make our connection, we're going to bounce you around for a while to make sure you're alone. You're to leave your car where it is and bring the money on foot. There'll be a time limit from phone booth to phone booth. We ring five times. If you don't answer, we hang up. If we hang up, that's it for the ladies. Now, there's a phone booth at the corner of Bay Road and 15th. You've got 15 minutes to get there. You better get going. foot running west on Reed Boulevard. Proceed to outskirts of Sector 9 and stay out of sight. Hello. There's a phone booth on 3rd and Beach Road. You got 19 minutes. Hope you make it. on Bay Road. When you come to the dead end, turn on the first path down to the coal field. At the back corner of the coal field, you'll see a lantern. Leave the money by the lantern and return to the main coast road. When the pickup of the money has been made and verified, your wife and the other ladies will be released unharmed. How long until we see our wives? How long before we get them back? forced into a 68 yellow Chrysler sedan heading towards San Francisco turnoff. Close in.
before I leave it, I've got to know where our wives are. Now listen to me. One of them is a diabetic. A diabetic. She doesn't have her insulin. She'll die unless she gets it. Now I've got it right here, but I've got to know where she is. You've got to listen to me. Let's get out of here. Let's make sure it's here. What if the guy comes? I'll take care of him. Hey! Who are you? Police. idea it's true Paul it's true you ask her she's out there in that lighthouse I don't believe you I don't believe you oh, I swear it I love her Paul and she loves me how oh, when while you were busy making money. You're a liar! Oh, I swear it. You check a bank account. 45,000 drawn out to hire the kidnappers. Here, open it. It's addressed to her. It's a plane ticket, Paul. She was going to meet me in Paris. McCoy told me everything. What can I say? Nothing. 
ذكر صغير ولا في There's a boat waiting downstairs. I'll wait until they get back from Ken. I'm sorry, Paul. Duncan's waiting for you. <laughs> 